Hello again, this is an update of the Duo Adept computer. This week I received a big shipment of chips. Here they are in their bags. And I received 11 breadboards. Um, and here's the computer so far. On the right we have the GPU, which you should have seen already if you watched my last video. And on the left side here we have the main memory, which will store the programs and files for the computer once it's fully complete. The two chips here are used to store the files uh, long term, and these four chips are used to keep track of the address of the current machine code command being executed. These four chips uh, select an address to feed into the main memory chips, and these three chips are just for miscellaneous uh, signal logic. <coughs> On the left there is the infancy front panel, and this I use to directly interface with the memory chips so that I can enter data onto them uh, before there is any software installed on the machine. Okay, so now I'm going to give a demonstration of how the main memory works. And I have my uh, camera woman, uh, my sister, say hello. Hey camera. <laughs> say hello to YouTube, yes. Okay, so now the computer is on, and as you can see here, <laughs> Here, here. <laughs> e. We have uh, these eight LEDs here show the data that is stored in the first address of the computer. And right now there's just random crap stored in there, so we want to try to write some nice data. Uh, so let me plug this in here, and then I'm going to operate the switches so that we give a sequence of two lights on here and two lights on here. And then we'll perform a write cycle and unplug the output enable. <coughs> and now we have this stored in here successfully. I actually turn off these switches. Yeah. So now this data is stored in here, and these switches are off. <coughs> However, if we unplug the machine, which is attached to the wall, uh, you will see that this turns off. This is the power indicator light, which is off. You plug it back in. It's on and our data has been lost, which is not what we want. However, I have done something to fix this, which is I use a backup battery uh, right here that is attached. And if we prop follow the uh, proper instructions for uh, shutting it down and starting it back up, we can save our lovely data. <coughs> so right now, I will uh, write the same data that I did before. So we do one two, three, four, right, turn these off, and unplug the output enable. Now first, we will connect the backup power by using this wire right here. Then we will <coughs> disable the memory chip so that it doesn't output any signal. Uh, disconnect the main power. Uh, like so, and unplug this thing from the wall. As you can see, the, the uh, machine is completely off, as the power indicator shows, uh, but the backup battery is connected to the main memory so that it does not lose what is currently stored. <coughs> so now, we can uh, follow the instructions for starting it up. We plug it into the wall, uh, we connect the memory to power, we enable the chip and we disconnect the backup power and as you can see we have the same four lights on that we did before two over here and two over here and so that is the magical presentation of the main memory thank you for watching